And I will God, start no. this job now. And I think then you can join, or I can invite you. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope. Can't I gotta get an invite, you. I guess. I think I have to literally go inside here. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Uh, fuck. Hello. Oh, I gotta turn co op on. Then I can invite. Oh. There. <laughs> Help me clean this shoe, you bitch. What the fuck? Is that you? After this level specifically, I can buy the new. Uh, oh, the new power? Yeah, like the upgraded version of our gun, I How guess. Do we do? So. Was it escape? I can't remember how to. Tab? No. What, oh, hit the middle mouse button? No. I changed mine, actually, so I don't know. Is it like C or V or something? No, it's E. It's E to change your power washer. Okay, I had that equipped. What I'd like to do is turn down the volume because it is loud. Nah. Wait, say something? Hello. Hello, okay. hello, hello. Alright, All right. we're good. Them some grassy, mossy shit. It's poop. It's poop. Yeah. It's poop. Silly me. It's poop. I mean, these people do live in a shoe, after all. They don't really have the highest standards for, like, hygiene. Mm. Or aesthetics. I mean, yeah. Because they live in a shoe. Mm -hmm. That's not under the sea. No. Bummer. If it was under the sea, it'd be permanently clean. Well, that's the thing is, aren't they doing SpongeBob stuff? Uh, don't ask questions. <laughs> it's, it's covered in fish poop, but good luck washing that off because it just kind of floats around and then it'll, it'll land on it again. Really, everything in the sea is disgusting. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. Probably should just nuke the sea. They're actually just constantly breathing in each other's like shit and piss. Martha Hubbard, you got a stinky butt butt. What? That's what this is. I beg your pardon. You got a stinky butt pardon. butt. You heard the lady? Go clean your butt. I'm not cleaning, I'm not cleaning your house anymore.
Sure, this works. I listened to this podcast, and they were talking about uh, the history of Tomb Raider. Uh, I don't think there's that much history, is it? It's like, it's a game. Well, the entire series? That's a lot. Of I, don't, I don't know much about it, honestly, other than it's like, Big Dak back in the day, and then she got boobified, and then people were like, eh. Well, no, some that's... Reason. Kinda how it went, but not really. And then they remade her into a torture victim. <laughs> well, that was, yeah, the first game. They like, did tone it down in the second and third one. Oh, did they get a lot of feedback on that? Yeah, they got a lot of feedback saying, like, this is really brutal. <laughs> uh, they still kept, like, a few here and there, but... Uh, Martha Hubbard, I want a yogurt tube. Aw. Uh. That... Alright, this person's crazy. I think it's, it's a kid. Uh, like a well, kid stole like a kid stole her phone and Johnny bit me. Yeah, and it's like okay, yeah, typed a little we weird and wrong. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Anyway, uh this woman is reckless, probably unconscious, drunk inside the house. Or that. Could even be that. I don't know. Probably drug addict. She's just stuck in a shoe. I mean I ate his yogurt. Congratulations. But, uh... Yeah, so when the first Tomb Raider came out, uh, they had, like... I think it was, like, seven months to create it. Jesus. <laughs> and there was only six people on the team. So only six people created the first Tomb Raider. Wow. <laughs> and it was very, uh innovating at the time because they also created a level designer probably first of its kind like a whole level edit where you can place uh you know drag and drop mm -hmm. which was pretty crazy back then but uh basically the entire team pretty much went insane like any other developing team <laughs> oh yeah like they all do yep but the creator i forget his name the one who basically made Laura Croft uh, just wanted her to be just like a badass chick, but mm -hmm. he didn't really want her to be sexualized or seen as a downward spiral of what she became later. <laughs> mm. uh, that's why he, in the second game, actually quit because uh, they were doing oh. that. <laughs> oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. And then the only reason that Laura became that way was because of marketing. Well, well yeah, obviously. Yeah, because what? they just saw her and was like, yeah, boobs. boobs. Okay, we get it. We're going to sell that. Hey. And we got this. We got he's this like, boobs. no, I don't want this for her. This is my creation. You're destroying her. And uh, they're like, oh, well. Yeah, no, we're just gonna keep doing it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Not surprised. Not surprised. But yeah, and then when Tomb Raider 2 came out, everyone was like, oh, cool, so we can do this and this, and uh, we can, of course, have enough time to build this game, right? And they're like, uh, no, no. you have like seven months still. <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? Just the Tomb Raider. <laughs> are you talking about the originals? Mm hmm. Funny how executives think that. Oh, the first one sold, so you don't need time to make this one because it's gonna yeah. sell anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's good. Uh -huh. oh, yep. yeah. And then of course the, that whole team did manage to do it, but their souls were basically destroyed because uh, they worked 24/7 and even caused you know divorces and. Oh yeah. All that fun. And they probably were not paid as much, and, and the people who up top, you know, 
sucked in all the dollars. It's, it's huge. Yeah, there was also the fact that the six people from the original game got royalties, and they were actually not really helping the first team. They were just kind of squandering in all their money and just kind of showing off and then kind of demoralizing the team. So that was great. Okay. <laughs> That was always fun. And then when the third game came out, they were like, well, this sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. And basically they all tried to quit. And uh, then the head macho guy was like, oh, no, that's bad. Uh, we'll give you royalties instead if you don't quit. <laughs> and, of course, they didn't and created the third one. Yeah. The really funny part is when it came to the fourth game, because by that time they were so sick of Laura Croft, they just wanted to kill her. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So they did. They just kill her off. They killed is her. Is that really what happened? Yeah, because they basically at the end of the game. I mean, spoilers, of course, but uh, she gets like buried in like a cave, and I did not that's know how they that. ended it. Wow. And then. The main head guy's like, what the fuck are you doing? Why did you do that? And we're like, they're... Because we don't want to work on this anymore. We're done with her. But, of course, they made another game, but it wasn't really good because uh, it was just a Everyone bunch of... Well, it went to quit or it was just really poorly put together because there was no leadership or any... Control. Well, talent had quit. Yeah. But it was just basically all based on Laura's past so it not only did not well in cells because people didn't get the answer if she's still alive or not <laughs> it was just also based on her past and no one cared and uh, it it was also just bad game design because they just took all the levels from the first second and third that they didn't use and just slapped it in there <laughs> oh. so the the worst levels in each game yeah basically <laughs> That that one was a cash hand, and they had no talent. They had nothing. They had right. nothing to. Yeah, uh, it was just, we need to rob the consumer base. It was poorly put together, and it failed miserably. But not as bad as when it jumped to PS2. Angel of Darkness. Oh, can we uh, save this and then hop over to Stardew, or do we have to complete it? Um. I honestly don't mm. know. Go ahead and finish. I need to. I wanted to get something to drink anyway. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Excuse me. What? Well, I, I did want to read this first because apparently they're doing a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. Yeah. Which I just wonder why. Metal Gear Solid 3 remains one of the best games ever made. Yeah. Uh, because money. And it's not going to involve. Uh, well, that's what happened with uh, Angel Darkness face. because. They saw Metal Gear Solid and one other game that was really popular at the time. And they are like, we should have that in our game. <laughs> and you still have six months to complete it. So. Alongside a fresh master collection of the first three MGS games. The re remastered you already did a remaster of those games. Just release that on PC. How hard is that? Yeah. I, don't get me wrong, I've never played a Metal Gear Solid game. I would like to play the originals. I would not play anything that did not involve uh, the original creator, though. Well, you ain't coming back. No, and that's why it's like, no, nah, I'm, I'm good on the remake. I, I don't trust them. I, I do not trust them. Well, yeah, I mean, as long as it doesn't end up like Silent Hill. <laughs> I, I just don't trust them like idiot. Well, you already saw what they did with one of those Metal Gear things. It was like Metal Gear Survive. And it was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. No, I saw that. Yeah, that was... That was awful. Yeah, that was a horribly have... cheap cash in. Video Kojima, it's like, nope. So, all right, I'll be right back. Okay. I just meant more on the aspect of, like, even the remasters can shit the bed, so... Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's true. Because uh, when they did Silent Hill, they did a fucking atrocious and horrible job, but at the same time, I feel bad for them because it wasn't their fault. Because someone lost the code for, like, Silent Hill games. Oof, oof. And they didn't have enough time to, like, work out and try to recreate those things, so they just had to, like, oof. quickly scrape together 
some that, that bullshit. That should have been like one of those cases where they push back the game and say, nope, sorry. Right. We, they should have. They should have been like, hey, all right, we don't have the code for this, so we should have enough time to recreate those pieces so that way it replicates the game as close as possible. But instead they did poorly and couldn't construct like proper monsters and the AI was terrible. And they also like tried to throw in the cutscenes from the original to the, por the remaster. So it went back from like really good graphics to shitty graphics. Ah, that's an interesting choice. Of some sort. Like, they tried to revamp it up, but it didn't really quite work, and the lip-syncing was off, and... Huh. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. See, there's this big chunk over here. The roof is still considered dirty. Oh yeah, there's stuff on this side. So I had a thought about, I was thinking about Metal Gear, and I, I really, I think I know what they're doing. So I think they're copying Capcom, because Capcom has been doing remake, remakes of the Resident Evils, mm -hmm. and they've been incredibly successful. Mm -hmm. And I think that might be their, you know, their, their thinking here, is let's remake Metal Gear Solid 3 and see if we can do what they're doing. Except they actually have a good team, so who the fuck knows what they're doing. I mean, how long has it been since they made a game that wasn't a, a shitty soccer port? Quite a while. Can I, I think Metal Gear Survive might have been the last one, actually. Yeah, other than, like, Pachinko. Yeah. Uh... Is this this somewhere? Uh, yeah, they released Super Bomberman R, Cigna, Silent Hill 2, and Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater for the PS5. Okay, what, what, what are they calling it? Metal Gear Solid... 
They're not calling it Metal Gear Solid 3. It's Metal Gear Solid Triangle? Yeah, what? Triangle Snake Eater. How am I supposed to say that? Is it like Beta or Omega? I, I don't know. Delta. It's Delta. Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. Window. Window frame? Yeah, got it. No. Uh, wooden, wooden trims. Oh, there's one right so here. Let's just see wooden trims. Uh, uh. Why aren't you going? I see you. Is this wooden trim? There we go. One more. Uh, one more. Slim little thing, isn't it? It really should have, like, a final thing, where if it's just a tiny amount, it just stands out somehow. Just yeah. one final if you're 99%, it should just be like, it's here. No, it should not. just give a giant arrow that just points, hey, they're here. Hey, right here. Or, you know what would have been nice? Is if the glowingness would have been a different color. <laughs> yeah, that's also... Or you could change colors, because... Uh, yeah, whatever. Is it one of the trims down below the window box? Mm. Seriously, where the fuck is this thing? It's weird that some stuff auto completes once you get it close enough, and other stuff is like, nope. Yeah. Every last little bit. Mm. I guess I'll just spray all the fucking trim. Uh, that's what I've been doing, just in case. But... annoying. It's so annoying. Right. It's like the last one. Oh, you got it. Where was it? Right here. I didn't even see it. It just kind of went okay and accepted it. Uh, fucking dumb. I hate that. All right. Oh, look, a nice little time lapse of us just running the fuck around. <laughs> like, where the fuck is it? <laughs> so we unlocked a vintage car and a forest cottage. There you go. Yeah, Alright. And a better sprayer. And a better sprayer. Nice. Let's see here. Like, it should be... Pretty decently, uh, it's a pretty decent upgrade. But 
anyways. Is Aaron ready or? Aaron is ready. Aaron is ready. Let's do the do's, my brothers in Christ.